Hola, me llamo Jen Canoto. I'm a video storyteller who loves Jesus, travel, dancing, exercise, and healthy food. I recently went on a mission trip to Nicaragua with my church family. Esta es mi historia. Episode 1, Introductions. In this first episode, my friends from Gateway Church and I embark on our journey from Austin, Texas to Chinandega, Nicaragua. Well, we just made it on the plane. We are a sea of purple shirts. My friend Amon through Gateway's Go Team has been hosting this trip yearly with his friends in Nicaragua, Amigos for Christ. I'm going to take a nap. Amigos for Christ was founded by John Bland in 1999 after being inspired by the poverty and natural devastation he witnessed. He was inspired with a vision for a better future. This nonprofit has helped communities through volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, mudslides, and more. After 15 years of experience, they now focus their efforts on strengthening families in rural communities through clean water, healthcare education, and economic development. The quote on the back of all of our shirts read, don't ask yourself what the world needs. Ask yourself what makes you come alive. Because what the world needs is people who have come alive. Okay, we just got to the Nicaragua airport. We got a rendezvous with a couple of other Amigos for Christ. Though astonishingly beautiful and known as the land of lakes and volcanoes, Nicaragua is the poorest country in Central America. It's clear to see that though Nicaragua is known for its exports such as coffee, cotton, and beef, its greatest resource is its children who often have little to no access to education. After working alongside various communities to establish the basic necessities of clean running water, Amigos for Christ focuses on building infrastructure aimed at increasing the percentage of children who complete primary and secondary school. Why would you spend your time and money to come so far away from everything that you know to help other people? Upon our arrival to Nicaragua, we stopped in the second largest city in the country, Lyon. So Lyon is a, a cultural city. It has a lot of different museums. Mm -hmm. Doing a little shopping, a little uh, sightseeing. As humans, we were created for community. No man is a wholehearted island. The Bible's pretty clear on this. We can't grow into the people God would have us be in isolation. We need other people. And that's the church. It's not a building. The church is people, not perfect people, but those who want to commit to living their lives in a certain way. Growing in our faith doesn't happen automatically. We have to work on it. We have to create opportunities to be in community with other people. The kind of people that I find go on mission trips are expecting to be uncomfortable. And then they're expecting to be comforted by God and His people. Is it easier to stay home? Yes. Can you get sick or injured on a mission trip to Nicaragua? Most definitely. But then you would miss out on all the giggles and the new food and the walks with friends and sharing a mutual feeling of God's goodness while watching the sun rise. No, I wouldn't trade it for the world. The following week is one that I'll never forget. I skidded down the front of a volcano, got five stitches in a Nicaraguan hospital, and experienced the best shower of my whole entire life. The shower was wonderful. That's it for episode one. Stick around for episode two, where we talk about the importance of community. For more information on anything we discussed in this video, head over to jencanodal.com slash Nicaragua and you should be able to find links to whatever you're looking for there. And if you like this video, you can also like this video. You can also comment, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.